Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today attended the events of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia and the festival's senior guests. The custodian of the two holy mosques welcomed His Majesty the King. The two sides then held friendly talks on the brotherly and historic relations between the two countries and their development at all levels. The custodian of the two holy mosques inaugurated the King Abdulaziz Camel Race Field. The Saudi anthem was then played and verses from the Holy Quran were recited. الآن يا سيدي ينطلق الشوطان الأخيران لسباق الهجن فئة الحيل. The final two rounds of the camel races then commenced. التي تحمل اعتدال اعتدال المملكة 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 بالمركز الأول
دلوقتي ورحب بالمركز الاول ورحب بالحمر ورحب بالخطر ورحب بهذا الشعار التابع لدوله الامارات An Abertine poem was then recited. هيبة حضور ملوك والشيوخ ومار هيبة حضور الشيوخ وملوك ومار قدام يا الموقف ما هو بس سهولة تفاخروا يا أهل البل سر وجهار اليوم هذا يوم كم واحتفولة صرتوا محط انظار ورموز وكبار وجمهور ضيق بالمنصات جضولة اسباق ومزاين وتتويج ويثار وبيع وشراء ومنافسات وبطولة سلام يا سلمان رمز القيادة صقر العروبة يوم طير العدا حام نادر وفي عينك شنار وحدادة من هدتك جول العدا يمسي أقسام صقارك معزي وحقق مرادة صدت المكارم واخمر الظلك أخصام امنوم سن عبد العزيز بهدادة هدك وصدت العز من تاب حوام صقارك معزي وحقق مراده صدت المكارم واخمر ظلك اخصام امنوم سن عبد العزيز بهداده هدك وصدت العز من تهب حوام وليل المجوس ازحت عنا سواده اللي غفينا فيه من عده اعوام وعيتنا واللي ثقيل نرقاده عسى اهل المرقد والى نام ما قام وليل المجوس ازحت عنا سواده اللي غفينا فيه من عدة اعوام ذهنتنا واللي ثقيل نرقاده عسى اهل المرقد والى نام ما قام واللي بطولاته خطاب واجاده خليفه الاخوانه وراس وامام كان يبي تجديد فيلم الإبادة ياتي وله عندي مصلصل وصمصام والآن يا سيدي تتفضلون حفظكم الله بتسليم الفائزين بالمركز الأول لجائزة الملك عبد العزيز لمزايين الإبل وجائزة الملك عبد العزيز لسباق الهجن حقق المركز الأول في فئة الفردي دق لون المجاهيم الشيخ ناصر بن حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة The custodian of the two holy mosques honored the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs. President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the Abdul Aziz Camel Festival Award on the occasion of His Highness's winning first place in individual rounds. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for his support for the festival.
The custodian of the two holy mosques also honoured the winners in the race. His Majesty the King congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the honourable achievement, highlighting his participation in the festival and hailing His Highness's efforts in supporting heritage-maintaining initiatives. His Majesty wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser success in upcoming festivals. حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل خمسين لون الحمر محمد بن فلاح بن خصيو العتيبي من دولة الكويت حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل خمسين لون الشقح سعود بن محمد بن فهد السويلم حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل خمسين لون الشعل علوش ابن نحيان ابن فهيد العجمي من دولة الكويت حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل الخمسين لون الوضح طلق ابن ضافي آل روق القحطاني حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل خمسين لون الصفر عبد الله ابن عبد العزيز ابن علي السلطان حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل الثلاثين لون المجاهيم جابر ابن عايض ابن جابر الهاجري من دولة الكويت حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل الثلاثين لون الشقح مجعد ابن فهد ابن محمد الدوسري حقق المركز الأول في فئة الجمل الثلاثين لون الصفر عبد الله ابن فهد ابن عبد الله ابن ضبي القحطاني سيدي خادم الحرمين الشريفين أيها الحفل الكريم لقد حققت جائزة الملك عبد العزيز لسباقات الهجن ضمن مهرجان الملك عبد العزيز للإبل رقما قياسيا عالميا ضمن فئة أكبر عدد إبل مشاركة في سباق الهجن برقم قياسي عالمي بلغ ستة ألاف ومائة وعشرين حسب توثيق شركة جنس للأرقام القياسية العالمية كما تقدمت إدارة المهرجان بتسجيل أطول ناقة وأقصر ناقة وبانتظار صدور القرار من موسوعة جنس خلال الأيام القادمة أما الآن يا سيدي فهذا عرض لمنجيات المركز الأول لفئة His Majesty the King, the custodian of the two holy mosques and the festival guests watched a show of the Camel Class first place collection for Camel Beauties.
مرحبا بلي على الدار لافين في دار اخو نوره تزايد سعدها تباشروا بالخير يا اهل الميادين الهجر جاها عزها في بلدها يا مرحبا بلي على الدار لافين في دار اخو نوره تزايد سعدها تباشروا A stage show entitled Camels Are Our World was performed. وكل نوع وله مميزات وسوالف كثيرة ألا ما قلت لي الجمل حقك شكله غريب وش نوعه؟ هذا جمل ذا سنامين وله عدة أسماء منها الفلج واليعلول والدهامج وغيرها وله سنامين ليخزن الغذاء بواحدة والدهون بالأخرى ليتحمل قسوة المناخ البارد الذي يعيش به في بلدان مثل الصين، منغوليا، أوزبكستان وغيرها والله شيء جميل الله يحييك في بلدك وبين أخوياك وجودكم إضافة لنا يضيف التراثنا ثراء ومعرفة وبنوصل معاكم المكان ما وصله أجدادنا وكذا نقدر نوصل للعالمية صوب الحضارة a traditional Saudi Adha was then performed. His Majesty the King commended the festival, which reflects the keenness of the custodian of the two holy mosques in supporting and maintaining Saudi heritage. His Majesty noted the festival's events and activities aimed at reviving Saudi heritage and enhancing national values, wishing his brothers in Saudi Arabia continuous success with the festival. His Majesty the King went on to express pride in the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa attended a lunch banquet held by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in honor of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's guests who were attending the concluding ceremony of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival. At the end of the festival, His Majesty the King bade farewell to the custodian of the two holy mosques, expressing thanks and appreciation for the invitation, warm welcome and generous hospitality. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Saudi capital Riyadh today at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to attend the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival concluding ceremony. Upon arrival at the King Khalid International Airport, His Majesty was received by the Governor of the Riyadh region, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, along with Embassy staff and senior Saudi officials. His Majesty the King made a statement in which he expressed his delight at arriving in the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He stated that the festival, which emanates from the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques, helps boost the civilizational, patriotic aspects and genuine heritage of Saudi Arabia, as well as preserving the heritage of camels. His Majesty also expressed pleasure in meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, affirming his keenness on deepening the historic ties between the two countries and their peoples, who are connected by kinship bonds and a shared destiny. He highlighted the shared wish to develop and consolidate these ties, as well as cooperation and coordination in various fields to serve the shared interests and meet the aspirations of the people. His Majesty added that the meeting will be an opportunity to exchange visions and views on the latest developments in the region in order to face all challenges, ensure boosting security and consolidating stability. His Majesty asserted that the efforts and goodwill initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques have safeguarded the region against many risks. He noted that these efforts embody the pioneering leadership role of Saudi Arabia, particularly in such critical regional situations. His Majesty the King wished the two brotherly countries and peoples continuing security, stability, prosperity and welfare in the interest of both brotherly countries, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa departed the kingdom today to the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Upon the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to attend the concluding ceremony of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival. At the forefront to bid His Majesty farewell was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa returned safely to Bahrain after his visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, during which he attended the concluding ceremony of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. At the forefront to receive His Majesty was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King had left Riyadh earlier, where he was bid farewell by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Senior officials and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King also sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the warm welcome and generous hospitality that embodies the outstanding brotherly relations between the two countries. His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in participating in the festival which embodies the cultural and heritage aspects of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and happiness and the people of Saudi Arabia further advancement and prosperity. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Noemi, visited a number of students whilst performing their community service programme. He was briefed on the tasks the students carry out as part of their training, affirming that this programme instills the values of patriotism, personal development and volunteer work through various programmes, activities and events. Anuemi noted that it allows students to develop their social communication skills. He added that the ministry received a number of appreciation letters for the efforts exerted by the students. The minister said that over 2,500 secondary students have completed 84,000 community service hours in 160 public institutions during the mid-term break as part of the community service programme, which is a prerequisite for graduation. A number of officials from the Education Ministry accompanied Dr. al Noemi on his visit. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein Ali Mirza, inaugurated the official opening ceremony of the International Advanced Forum on the Practice of Social Responsibility, organised by the Regional Network for Social Responsibility in partnership with the International Ambassadors Programme for Social Responsibility. The event was attended by senior officials from various government and private sectors with more than 80 participants joining from across the GCC and Arab countries. Mirza delivered a keynote speech at the opening ceremony in which he praised the role of the regional network for social responsibility in launching an international training program to award the International Professional Certificate to the Ambassadors of the Community Partnership. The minister awarded the CEO of Injaz Bahrain, Sheikh Hessa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Personality of the Year Award for Social Responsibility for her numerous achievements in the fields of entrepreneurship and community responsibility in the Kingdom of Bahrain in 2017. A number of dignitaries were also honoured for their distinguished social achievements in their countries in the field of social responsibility. Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated the 2018 Al Basta Market at Gravity Village today in the Southern Governorate in the presence of a number of officials in the Kingdom. Sheikh Rashid toured the market where he commended the concept and its embodiment of the government's directives led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to provide more opportunities that support small and medium sized projects and ensure their growth and development. Sheikh Rashid affirmed the success of the market as one of the most important activities aimed at supporting and developing small and medium establishments and the projects of productive families which activates the commercial and tourism movement within the kingdom. He hailed the efforts of the Albasta Markets Organising Committee, noting the participation of Gravity Village in hosting the market, which reflects the principles of community partnership and contributes to the revitalisation of trade and attracting tourists, wishing them success. The Organising Committee expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa for patronising and attending the event. Under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Faika Al Salah, the Gulf Campaign for Cancer Awareness commenced today at the Arabian Gulf University. More now on the campaign in this report from Shuk Mohammed. In cooperation with the Gulf Federation for Cancer Control and the Gulf Center for Cancer Control and Prevention, the Bahrain Cancer Society launched the third annual Cancer Awareness Week, aiming to promote health awareness and educate the general public about the risk factors of cancer. Awareness is to reach the septum before the septum causing an, a lethal damage. Uh, awareness actually is this cornerstone for helping people, particularly in a cancer patient, to help people to reach the diagnosis and the treatment once this diagnosis and treatment achieve a maximum effect of management. Because of that, we are here to give a message for people or citizen who is living in GCC that cancer is a preventable disease. Cancer is a curable disease. Not anymore cancer is a legal, a lethal disease. The society takes great importance in the educational programs organized for the citizens and residents of all age groups to promote awareness and reduce the risk of cancer, stressing on the importance of uniting efforts and solidarity between citizens and sectors to fight this potentially fatal disease. 
take for example breast cancer breast cancer is the problem we are facing that the people still have the denial the ladies still they have the fear of death they they thought that you know cancer is a killer disease and this is not the truth. We usually advise people to seek medical attention if they realize that there's something different in their body. Um, we also encourage them to seek medical attention quickly and um, as soon as they can just to avoid any uh, development of the disease because it's curable if we detect it earlier. Through early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, the majority, if not all, cancer cases can end with a positive result. And for this reason, the society urges people to seek medical attention as soon as they notice any changes indicative of cancer. The Gulf Campaign for the Prevention of Cancer will go on until the 7th of February, and we hope that not just Bahrain, but the people of all the Gulf will join the march towards the prevention of cancer. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.